<laughs> it's alive. It press play. It works. Hello, everyone. I do not sound at all demonic or demented in any way, shape, or form. Hello, and welcome to another Toon Kind FPS. Whoop, whoop. I am your humble V Wild here with my little characters, and I am joined by the fabulous and incredible, wonderful person all around, absolutely delightful person to play with, and I'm very much looking forward to it with their incredible characters. Just had Ah <laughs> I have <laughs> been I, I cannot I cannot respond. I have been shot. I have been betrayed. <laughs> Cold blooded murder and you allowed it. Yeah, yeah and, and on on for everyone to hear as well. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kendall. <laughs> I am very much looking forward to this. It's going to be fun. I'm excited. And I am playing uh, Dr. Crystal Emelite today. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> she's she's doing fine. Sure she is. Sure you are, darling. I know the other FPSs that are going on and have happened. <laughs> We'll see. We'll see how today goes. We'll see how today goes. Yeah. yeah. But speaking of, yeah, it's Crystal. How, how are you feeling at this very moment, given everything, everywhere, all of the time? Yeah, she is very tired right now. That's like the first word I use to describe her at the moment because, oh, there's a lot going on and. There are so many things happening to people, and she's just like, "Can everything stop for five minutes? Can I solve one problem before another five end up on my desk?" <laughs> I'm sure Lynn knows that feeling. God bless. Yeah, that that is a feeling that Lynn knows intimately, especially when the problems start stacking and multiplying like freaking triples. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um. <laughs> Yeah, she's just like, oh, all right. I, I I need to. I I finally probably should go and check up on Lynn because uh that that's a priority given. Um, apparently she ate some very bad for you goo, and um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like like she she takes people being okay seriously, like you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because she's a good doctor, Your Honor, and she's a good person, Your Honor. Yeah. And it it's taken some time, given everything, and given, like, getting called out twice in one week to another place, and given just life. Oh, yeah, yeah. Life. Speaking of making sure... Speaking sure I idiots who do things that they probably shouldn't and eat things that they probably should. <laughs> this is the second time she's having to go uh, make sure that they are all right in the aftermath of it. <laughs> so poor Crystal has had the okay. Everything's fine over there for five seconds. Everything over where I am is okay for five seconds. Time to go to Halloween Town. <laughs> yep, <laughs> nothing's gonna blow up if I leave for an afternoon. Okay. <laughs> and so, you know, making your way downtown, walking really frickin' fast, <laughs> teleportation yeah. circle, and this is one of the things that we all do all the time. Uh, um, Crystal, when you get to Halloween Town, could you roll survival, please? Oh, I would love to. <laughs> oh, that's you're great. Looking for a specific place. Oh, this is oh God! What happened? What happens? Six. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so with with that, oh God, Crystal, honey. <laughs> so it appears that Kara has decided. You! You are the target today! <laughs> and yeah. so, uh, Crystal, God's bless you. You're walking through town. You saw an, probably like an interesting lamppost as you went past once. 
And, you know, you just saw it again. And again, and you change direction, and you go somewhere else, and you go through a few places, and then you see it again. And you still haven't found, you know, that small brick building that looks a bit out of place compared to everywhere else. It's She's trying. She's trying, God bless her. Everyone knows she's trying, but Network's <laughs> not really a building that fits in, usually, or that you can recall. However, yeah. you do keep finding this one fucking lamppost. <laughs> yeah, it's probably really infuriating as well because she's like using landmarks and being like, "No, I've seen that store and I've seen that uh that like funny shaped bush, and I definitely know I've seen that lamppost before." <laughs> <laughs> that fucking lamppost. <laughs> <laughs> it's you can't you can't use landmarks in a town that shapeshifts. <laughs> it no. shuffles. It uses a shuffle. I don't think Meanwhile, she's put I'd together like... that's what's happening. <laughs> no, I'd also like to imagine, because she's looking out for a specific building. Oh, yeah, Meanwhile, that, that building, That building is just there, just watching things happen. Just I like to imagine crystals come vaguely into her awareness once or twice, just, oh, shiny, gun shiny, oh, shiny, gun shiny. <laughs> Like, for a building with no eyes, it's just, you can tell that it was just every now and then, this one poor schmuck keeps coming into Network's radar, and Network keeps getting excited. Oh god. <laughs> I'm gonna say, roll again, roll survival again. Okay, cool. And, and I'm gonna do something this time, if it goes well, it's not fantastic, but it's better than before. <laughs> yeah. Okay, 11. 11. So, Crystal, if you go past that lamppost one more time, you're not entirely sure what you're going to do. <laughs> yeah. But, <laughs> but as you're walking down this one street you think it's the same street you've gone down before at this point it could be anything you do notice something out of the corner of your eye of just one of the buildings as you walk past there's just a glow of gold from it for a moment huh should i roll a history <laughs> by all means oh yeah that's where the good roll went <laughs> <laughs> you never quite forget that specific kind of golden glow. <laughs> yeah, so I think she looks and then, like, I, d I think it's not only, like, just the memory of, like, the golden glow, but also, like, she does have knowledge on Genus Loci and is probably, like, that's a history of, oh, yeah, they can change shape. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And as you're looking, this this building has changed immensely. It now there it, is. It, it makes sense why you missed it a few times, seeing as it now looks a bit more similar to everything else, except you know, um, giant wizard tower, and still got the gold. <laughs> but she's trying. She's got curtains. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, I th um, yeah, I think Crystal's a little bit too put out to be appreciative of the design change right this moment. She just like <laughs> runs a hand through her hair and just like, like, just like grolics under her breath. Gods! <laughs> <laughs> network, network. Who knows? You know, Grawlix is a very, very positive thing most of the time. Just <laughs> it's the little torches either side of the door are just flickering a little brighter. Yeah. Oh my god, that's great. <laughs> She's um... very insightful. At the same time, she is just looking at the shiny person <laughs> in her. It's so close to her domain now. <laughs> yeah. Well. It's going to make Network even more excited because... <laughs> <laughs> A 
people in inside. Why am I getting boomies? <laughs> yeah. Um, in fact, do you want to roll a perception for Lynn? <laughs> yes, I do. I will also. I'm going to. God, it network is so. Like, the network is just slowly, progressively, internally, externally, just completely normal building. Internally, just vibrate. Vibrate. Shiny person coming closer. <laughs> Crystal so shiny. Crystal so shiny. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, Crystal comes up and she, uh, she's going to knock on the door, maybe a little bit more forcefully than normal, and then she's going to shout, definitely loud enough for Lynn to hear. <clears throat> Detective Lynn Stagehand, you've Better be home because I've been wandering around this town for four hours. <laughs> and Lynn, who'd already been getting up, but the okay, who's the so shiny? Just now, just in one of the inner rooms, like probably in her very own office. The do her own doors have opened inside. Now, just standing there, going, "Oh boy." <laughs> Kara, please. Why did you do this? <laughs> but unseen Lynn does just give a gesture, just let the poor woman in. Let the poor woman in. And work very magnanimously will just open the door. Just it does swing open nicely. Uh, I think that takes like Crystal by surprise because there's no one inside, and then like ah right, it's a is a genus loci, uh, and I think this happened last time. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure it happened last time. So um, yeah. <laughs> uh, I think she will step in with a ah uh thank you network. And um, yeah. God, this this house is very, very happy. You are here. <laughs> you are in her domain now. <laughs> you, Crystal, roll me insight, would you, as you come in? <laughs> Good. You, oh, those are going so well you, for me you today. Can, <laughs> you can also roll, like, a perception just because you are in a new environment. Okay, okay. That's actually decent. <laughs> Uh, that one's the inside, and I'll roll the perception. Oh, hey, that's pretty good, too. Nice. So, Crystal, you come into this building, and for one, you've come from a porch now into a foyer. And unlike the last time you came, where it was still sort of a uh, clubhouse renovated into a home sort of thing. No, this this is a full-on foyer. You can see either side of you these staircases, like twin set of staircases that go up to the next floor, that sort of thing. And you can see ahead of you these double doors that will lead into another room sort of thing. It is all... This is all a proper, proper house for several people now. And that's what you get with the perception. With the insight, you get, um... Hey, wait, I remember what happened last time I was here. The door closes behind you and there is a very happy, humble, vibrating house. Roll a strength save. Roll a what? Strength save. Oh, no, strength, really? Okay. Yeah. Roll that strength save. Oh, fantastic. This is great. So, Crystal, you have this beautiful moment of crystal realisation of how shiny you are in this beautiful, well... Oh, oh no. Did 
Damn it. Come on. Give me my internet back. Or at least give me the ability to change my internet source. Hello, can you hear me? I can hear you! I can hear you! You're oh, back! Sorry. You're my, back from the void! My internet, um, ate Discord. No! I, I heard- convenient time! <laughs> I got EBDB'd. Same as Crystal, I'm imagining. Because I heard- <laughs> I heard- You see, you, you're very shiny in this room, and then you- And then you cut out, and I'm like- <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> And then Candle got eaten and was never heard from again. Meanwhile, Crystal was <laughs> yeeted into the air by a warm tornado. Oh, okay. <laughs> tornado. <laughs> yep. Yep. Okay. She wasn't expecting that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're safe. You're not at any risk of hitting anything. In fact, you're basically perfectly in the middle of this foyer. You can probably see a little clearer upstairs, but... It's warm, it's spinny, <laughs> and there is a very vibrating, happy, humming house. Oh, God. Yeah, this is so... Uh, ah, oh, well, uh, okay, okay. Okay, this is happening. <laughs> <laughs> and there is just such a happy network. She's so happy! You're here, and you're shiny! And you're like a chandelier, there is so much glowing light everywhere! It's fabulous! <laughs> yeah, because the light goes through her <laughs> and scatters on the ground. Exactly. So, network on realizing this is very much you you are being spun. You are be like you got a you got a goddamn three on that strength check. <laughs> like your strength save. And so network yeah. is just Kind of spinning you to see the pretty patterns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, uh... Okay, you can put me down now. Network, put me down. <laughs> and it, it's like being held by a toddler. <laughs> and... <laughs> I will. For the love of all things, Crystal, roll me another precept B in a second. <laughs> okay. Just roll, roll me your precept B. Okay, cool. Well, <laughs> she's apparently got a good angle up here. Yeah. I mean, it's a hell of a good spot. So, with a 19, Crystal, you're being spun. It's humming, it's vibrating, it's happy, shiny sparkles, and you do not so much hear as see the door that was the double doors that were further ahead just open. And then you see the like the base of a cane that's coming in as the door gets opened a little more, and then you see Lynn. And she you lock eyes for a moment because she's now just taking stock of the situation that is happening in her foyer. <laughs> <laughs> and she's almost impressed for a moment as she's just taking stock of this humming, singing, vibrating, <clears throat> wonderful experience that her network is having. And that you're here, and she heard you yell, and now you're here being spun a la disco ball chandelier. <laughs> yeah, and doesn't look very happy about it either. 
and she takes another few seconds to just process this situation. You know what, just for shiggles, she has a teacup still in hand. And then she's just like, Okay. Network? What did we talk about with shiny people? Still no to the wine cellar! Put her down! Put the nice doctor down! I will give you three shinies later on if you put her down right now. And you are just <laughs> dropped safely. There is like a cushion of air as you're going down, but it's just like, Chinese! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 sort of the um, toddler, oh, something else sort of thing. And then the, oh, yeah, okay, I probably uh, like, sort of like, I'm almost imagining like a, like the, whoop, like sort of drop and then the, ah, oh, right. It's like right before the ground. <laughs> yes. Because quite frankly, Network is mindful of people. She might be a toddler, but she is also a guardian and such. And so it's just the dropped person. Like, there's a small gust around Lynn, and then just the split second before, you know, Crystal eats shit. Oh, wait. Vroom. <laughs> Cushion. <laughs> uh, yeah, and, uh, <laughs> yeah, she, she sort of, like, it definitely looks uh, a bit frazzled when she gets up. I think she's gonna like like push down her hair and probably like fix her glasses. Like they're probably up at that like odd angle <laughs> kind of thing. Um, yeah. And uh, just ah, uh, oh, thank you, network. No, that was not incentive for you to do it again the next time she comes, sweetheart. Different kind of thank you. <laughs> Yes, please don't. <sighs> Aye, indeed. Anyway, hi, Crystal. Wonderful of you to drop in, eh? Hi. Uh, hi, Detective. I'm sorry it's not really on under the best circumstances. I'm here because apparently you were involved in an incident recently and eight some of the very terrible bad for you goop that was involved and there is a split moment where as you said like as you'd gone through that there was the faint look of concern of not best circumstances and then she opened her mouth to say something when she realized which case you were talking about and then all of a sudden she just goes I'm sorry, you think I did what? <laughs> well, that, uh, that was what, uh, you told me, um, that, uh, you ate the goo when, uh, when he fished you out of the abyss of it, I think that was what it was, um, and yeah, so I'm here to make sure that, uh, no lingering effects from eating it. <laughs> I did not peck and eat it! Oh, for the love of peck! How, how many people have been told this? I didn't peck and eat it! <laughs> she begins <laughs> counting on her fingers. Uh, well. <laughs> Is it more than one? Uh, well, you, uh, would still believe that. Myself, I did tell Moria and, well, Moria would have already known, but I did mention it, uh, that I was coming to see you about it and uh, Jubilee knows. Lynn has taken a moment to transfer her teacup to her tail so that she can pinch the bridge of her nose with her hand. <laughs> Are you telling me you didn't consume the, the goop? It went in my mouth and did not consume. I will explain in a moment. I'm just processing this situation and trying to draft up the statement I'm going to have to give. Okay, that's... You have a plot device, right? I do. The... Can I borrow that afterwards? I think that's going to be a good place to make a statement. Just get this out, because oh my... Pecking. 
Um, yeah, that no. should be fine. Thank you. I will give it back directly afterwards. Hmm. But right now. Yes, it went in me. No, I didn't peck and eat it. If we're getting technical, I breathed it. Anyway, why don't we come further inside? I have tea. We're uh, the only people in the house at the moment. Well, besides the house herself. <laughs> yes, yeah, kind of hard to forget about her. Oh, you'd be surprised. But she's a master of the elements. <laughs> but please, uh, come on in. It's the, the entire house has undergone a bit of a redesign since you were last here. So, uh, yes. Surprise. Just that. Um, it's nice. Uh, definitely made things harder to find, but um, yes, it looks quite nice. Hi. We're both fond of it. It's pick and fantastic on that front. And the zoomies have finally died down from the event. Ah, the wonders of the zoomies. But uh, would you prefer to go upstairs, downstairs? Either option. Oh, uh, I, I really don't mind. Um, whatever's easiest for you. Okay. Uh, let's see. And roll me a medicine check if you like. Sure. <laughs> oh, cool. Twenty-four! <laughs> you have hit the DC! Fantastic! Oh, so, incredible. Crystal, as you're looking at Lynn, for one thing, she does seem fine at a glance sort of thing. She's relaxed and that sort of stuff. You do know she, she has a cane now. That's new. You didn't see that before. Mm. She is leaning on it ever so slightly the longer this conversation has gone on. And she does look just the tiniest bit tired, but she does also seem mostly healthy. Because I rolled her die for today. So she is on one point. She is on one, one point of fray. But she does just go, ah, let's see. Let's see. Ah. Well, I do have a client room. I mean, we got. Foyer, client room, my office. Then we've also got the other offices. We could go in the library. Spot a tea in the library. That sounds a wonderful idea. Come on. And she does turn around, and instead of going up those stairs, it she just does just go further from the foyer into the next room. Yeah, I think um yeah, Crystal's gonna nod at that and uh So how have you been doing, Lynn? Hmm? Oh, pretty peck and fantastic, honestly. Uh, eh, things come and go. There's been a lot of incidents. Plot, plot likes grabbing us all by the horns, eh? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lynn, would you like to roll insight? <laughs> yep. That is 24. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> like, you say that a crystal size and... <sighs> You don't know the half of it. And yeah, she looks really tired and she looks like she definitely feels that like in her soul. <laughs> and there is a look as Lynn just like half turns back because she'd looked at you over her shoulder and there is just a faint softening around the corners of her eyes of just understanding she's because Oh, I try me, eh? Come, it's. I'll get some of the good tea on. Thanks. I. It's like the more people you know, the more problems they bring with them. Oh, I. Half the charm, half the curse. <laughs> Wouldn't have it any other way to not have these people in your life at the same time. Oh, when you get the problems, it's. You get one. And then you think you've almost solved it, and then five more spring in its place, and you go, why? 
Uh, I just fixed it. Why you like this? Uh, yes, and and they don't stay solved either. It's like it's like give me five minutes to be happy with this and not have anything else happen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I I solved this, and now I'm getting called back to deal with it. What do you mean it's broken again? <sighs> yes. Hey. Welcome to the protagonist lifestyle. It's a pick and nightmare. Uh, honestly, how do you even deal with this? Part of it is you learn to just roll with the punches. The other part is you learn how to Molotov, because then you make a bigger problem that you know how to deal with eventually. But it sets a few of the others on fire so you can have a moment to breathe. Hmm. Well, neither of those are particularly my style. Hmm. Well then, another good way is taking a few seconds here and there just to let it simmer and handily. Hmm. I suppose. It's just hard, I guess, because hmm. there's always something to do. Aye, that there is. That's something I've learnt as well. It's tricky putting things down, or even the times when you want to but can't. Yes. Do you want to talk about it? <laughs> uh, I'm not even sure where to begin, honestly. Hmm. Try at the start. And as you guys have been talking, Lynn had originally been leading, and then as you know, this has gone on, she's actually fallen slightly into step with you to guide you. And so you're going further into the building, just it is it is a nice building on that front. Just all the way through. And so she has taken you through the client room where you as you went past you did see the wall of love. And then just from there, just through probably like a side door. And now you were in a very big library with some very plush seats that she's just leading you towards. Little fireplace and everything. Oh, that's that's great. I I think I need to roll hmm, maybe a wisdom. Oh. Okay, she doesn't get distracted by all of the books. <laughs> she will have time for the books at another point. <clears throat> oh, I do think um I, I do think there's like a um like a pause as like as you guys enter and um uh like a like oh wow oh okay uh and then just sort of like a right um <laughs> i am not here <laughs> to look at books and um and mm -hmm. stuff uh, and just uh uh that that might take a while like there has been so much hmm all right then so we can go back and forth on this, but what's the part? Is there a part that's most concerning at the moment? <sighs> probably, probably the one most concerning at the moment would have to do with, well, partially why I'm here, the um, the overblot. I see. Speaking of which, From... um, have you been mm -hmm. doing all right since that incident? Anything out of the ordinary? Any um, negative feelings or uh, ink stains or anything like that? Uh, uh, ink stains, no. Um, let's see. Uh, on that front, from 
from what I've been able to understand, the goop that I um, breathed in. How to word it? How to word it? Related to this overblot, but tangentially different from what I understand. So I don't think I'm at risk of uh, doing that. Oh, good. Oh. That's good. Hi. It's... There were a few aspects of it I was able to pick up. It had some uh, temporary side effects. But um, but nothing, nothing negative, and but I'm perfectly fine. I mean, pick. I came back to try and uh, drain my lungs from the, I breathe it in, which I got to admit, wasn't my wisest thing. At the same time, a instinct. B, I wanted to be someone who was awake while we were all drowning, so that when we got out the other side, I could help the other two. Possibly another reason, but I don't particularly know about that. But I, I'm completely fine. I was wondering, you didn't strike me as the sort to do something like that. Others? Hmm. Definitely. Uh, but, hmm. yeah. <laughs> you flatter me. But, I, it was, it was mainly a moment of being in a very difficult situation and not knowing how quickly we were going to come out the other side. So... On instinct, I tried to ensure that one of us would still be, you know, conscious. By breathing it in? I've got a barbarian feature. Um, it's not going to work particularly well, seeing as, you know, we're not in liquid at the moment, but... And... Crystal, as she's standing in front of you, like, you guys have got close to where the seats are now, but she does stop for a moment. And then... There is this pumpkin orange outline around her for a moment and you can see like the outline does come extend beyond her for a moment and you can actually see these gills that seem to form in the outline on the sides of her neck yes i'm not sure i understand thank you sorry <laughs> <laughs> all right sorry you're getting put, you're, you're getting put on one side but and so that you do just see these gill like lines on the side of her neck just like I thought perhaps it would be wise. Again, instinct moment. Not my wisest, but we were in a situation. Not one I will be repeating, I'm sure. Well, potentially won't be repeating. Ah, useful. No, that, that makes more sense. Mm hmm Indeed. Yeah, that did the best I could in the situation. It was an interesting one. Definitely something. Yes, I've gotten but... the details of it from you, Moria, and Jubilee at this point. Ah, doing the rounds on a sissy. <laughs> ah, yeah, you could say that. Mm hmm. Did. Something else happened, though, didn't it? Uh, sort of. Um, I got more information from you. Um, Detective Moria sent him my way um, after <laughs> the incident. I'm not sure if you were aware of that or not. Um, uh, I... I was aware that she had someone in mind to send you to. Honestly, out of everyone, I would have probably recommended you as well. You are pick and fantastic. I... Thanks. I... Well... I'm not sure if I really feel that way at the moment, considering how much of a mess the problem is, but I'm doing my best. Then let's unpack it, eh? Right. Talk to me. Yes, I have. I have passed along most of what I know to Detective Moria as well. But uh, more eyes on this might be useful, given everything about it that I know so far, and a lot of things that mm -hmm. I don't. Okay. 
Uh, right. Well, um, how much do you know about the Overblood? <sighs> Let's see. Parasitic being. Uh, latches on to magic, I believe. Uh, let's see, can... Corrupt isn't quite the right word, I don't believe, but it feeds into negative emotions, draws out magic, leads to, uh, you know, eventual blot event or a uncomfortable other alternative. Um, man-made, from what I can tell. Uh, it's a corruption of the natural, a parasitic from another place of being, uh, from an extra dimensional front on that one. Uh, and she is actually just. Roll me insight. Cool. All right. Ha. Yeah, that's more in line with what you've been rolling today. <laughs> Seven. No, no, honey, I'm sorry. <laughs> Figured. Chris. Lynn does seem to look off to one side for a moment. But. Hey, gods or peckin' mighty, this monkey is genuinely difficult to read. Mm. And. You, 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 you ain't getting it. You you ain't getting it. Crystal is not one of the detectives that has disgustingly high insight modifiers. In fact, she is really bad at reading people usually. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, she will nod to that. Like, um, I think mean, yes, that lines up with uh what I've gathered too. Uh, you mentioned that uh it uses negative emotions in order to get its uh host to use more magic, which it feeds on, and Jubilee described it as a villain arc, feeling similar to a villain arc. Hmm. Mm, that could be could be one point. It's only one point of reference, but I spiral. Yes, well, currently we only have one point of reference, really. Um, uh, you was able to tell me more about how it worked uh, from the realm that it came from. Uh, how that, as far as he is aware, that it can only be dealt with through the... Uh, full overblotting, uh, and that the, uh, well, the other alternative is death. I couldn't just be turning into a Pomeranian, no, it has to be death as the other option. Yes, so, uh, part of what I've been looking into is seeing if I can find a way to get rid of it without having to overblot, but it is difficult, seeing as it eats magic. Aye, form of auric in nature. Hmm. <sighs> we at least have someone who is an expert on it from immersion in it beforehand with you, but this is concerning you in a certain vein, isn't it? Uh, it's, well, honestly, the situation in and of itself is enough of a concern. Thankfully, part of that did get solved recently, but that also brought some concerning things to light about you. Hi. Tell me what you know. Hmm. Well, it might actually be easier to show you. Or at least oh, part no. of it. 
can give me a moment. I need to roll. Have a space. Yeah. Cool. Lynn, uh, Lynn's got a feeling. Lynn already had a feeling going into this. Lynn got a feeling. Yeah. So she pulls into her bag uh, uh, and pulls out of her hammer space a med kit. Um, and, um, and then she digs into the med kit um, and she is being careful uh, and she pulls out like a little um, like, uh, con uh, like storage container, uh, you know, sort of thing. Like, um, Lynn's welcome to roll a perception or an investigation to get more information about this. Oh. That is a... Ah, uh, let's go investigation. Let's be festive. We're in AI after all. That is a 26. Oh, wow. Yep, that'll do it. Uh, so yeah, you will also get a, a look at the... <laughs> I, could, I could have gone perception and we could have had a nice... We could have had a nice 30 if I'd gone perception. <laughs> I mean... Whichever one you wanted, so <laughs> let's go investigation. Let's let's have the fun. Let's uh, twenty six rather than the thirty. <laughs> God, I, I know she's good at her job, but also, dang, those are high modifiers. Hi, she's a high monkey. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, Lynn, you get a look at the inside of this med kit, which um. For one, looks like a pretty standard med kit. Um, well, actually, no. Uh, yes and no. It does have a lot of the like, uh, like standard med kit emergency supplies and stuff. But it def definitely looks more like a standard, um, like trained, um, like m medical personnel med kit, like one of those portable ones that's got. Things that you probably wouldn't see in medkits usually, like, uh, you know, needles and uh, and the like for like more serious, um, more serious things to yeah. be taken care of. Lynn, who does have medical proficiency, is just looking in, taking stock of a few things, recognizes a few other things from. Oh, I've had to use that on myself. Oh, I've seen that before. <laughs> yeah, and uh, the kit does look a little bit like. It's been used a few times and needs to be restocked, um, kind of thing. Um, and uh, and but uh, yeah, you know, other than that, like pretty standard. Uh, the box that she's pulling out is like one of those like uh sealed uh like fully sealed sealed um like to keep things sort of secure and also probably a little bit like temperature proof like cooler than normal just to keep it um you know safe as well um mm -hmm. yeah and she's gonna pull out a vial um and she's gonna hand it across to you um i can give you uh I'm just thinking about the best way to do this. Um, I'm wondering whether just to give what Whirl gave me when um, I got this. Um... Lynn's, Lynn's <laughs> got a knowledge of understanding of this sort of thing now. Because uh, what she did. Oops. But she does have an innate understanding, so please, by all means. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, hold on. I'm just going to grab up what... Uh, what yeah. well wrote? And Lynn, Lynn does take it in hand, and she is just holding it slightly up to the light. But strangely, with I'm gonna give you this just as a passive thing while we're talking. As you guys are doing this, you're not quite sure because there's no proper texture to it, but it almost feels as though network has made a space around you just. She's ever so slightly retreated from this site. Aww. Still ever present, but just just getting a little bit of space from whatever that is. Just no. Yeah, healthy boundaries, that's really good to see. <laughs> <laughs> Network has been raised well. Alright, uh here we go. Um, the, uh, I'm not going to read all of it. You can go have a look at our text FPS if you'd like to get the full, very lovely world writing. 
Um, but um, yes. <laughs> um, the uh, it's uh, sort of like a child science experiment, the sort that measures the density of different liquids by pouring them into a bottle and seeing how they separated. Because there was, because there is ink in the vial, uh, a slightly more liquid than average black ink that. Um, is in line with what you might expect from a Tezukanadan tune. Uh, but the ink is only a very thin layer delicately floating atop the rest of the vial's contents, um, sending swirls of black pigment through thicker scarlet liquid uh, that looks like real kind blood. And one more um, thing I will add is uh, that Lynn will note, uh -huh. but I don't know if she will do anything with it, is that Crystal hands this to her with her right hand. Which hand does Crystal normally use? Her left one. She doesn't say anything straight away. But she has got a feeling on that front. And Lynn does just take this in hand. And she's holding it up to the light for a moment. Hey, roll me insight or perception. Sure, I might go with perception. That's my higher modifier. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> Brilliant. That 20. Freaking brilliant. Yeah. Okay. Crystal, you've noticed as this conversation's gone on, there has been that sort of slight slip into senior detector sort of thing as she's been there. She has been looking at you with kindness and warmth and understanding, and there has been something else in her eyes just as stuff's gone on as she's been looking at you. But in this moment when you pass this to her and she holds it up to the light you see the way it's a containment thing so the vial is you know stoppered and that sort of stuff the way her hand is on it is the thumb is on the stopper not in the way that blocks it but in the way that normally almost in the way one would traditionally uncork but she's not doing so and she is looking at this with fascination almost almost fixation her pupils very much focused on it for a long moment and she's got her jaw slightly parted in the way when someone's about to say something but she doesn't and then after a moment she blinks and she stops and she just goes this is yous isn't it Yes. Fascinating. Marvellous. I found out that he used to be real kind human before coming here. Hi, the uh, isekai scenario. Yes. But as far as I'm aware, I've not heard of a case of someone changing like that upon being isekai'd. No. No, this... <sighs> what is this? Was this a deep extraction? Looks... <laughs> looks like layer on top. It was supposed to be a regular ink draw. I see, so... But seeing as it hasn't... This... Did you take any other samples? Only the one. I... I didn't want to get too much considering some of the other things that I... that you have said. 
All right. But first things first, uh, you might want to take this back, eh? Yes, thank you. She is going to take it back and like put it back in there and in the med kit and then back in her hammer space because she is not getting a second sample. Like she will not do that. Uh, so mm -hmm. she's got to use what she has. And I will say with that nat 20, like Lynn, Lynn lowered it. And she let you take it, but she was extending it with her right hand, and there did seem to be some... Not quite reluctance, that's not quite the right word. You're not quite sure what to call it. But it did take a moment for that vial to leave her hand into yours. Hmm. But then again, that might just be that hand. You're not sure. Yeah, yeah, she's feeling a lot better once it's back in her hammer space, and uh, she's not sure she's going to do that again, because, uh, yeah, she, no, she didn't like that. She didn't like the way Lynn was, like, acting at that, and just, uh, like, um, are you all right? Hmm? Me? Perfectly fine. I'm more concerned about you, honestly. This, well, you and you. <laughs> but, yes. Mm. How are you doing? Um, tired. A um, little bit stressed with everything that's been happening. Would very much like to find an answer to what's been happening with this and a solution, potentially. Um, yeah. Managing. And, and we will. We will get to the bottom of it. Alright? Every story has its end. How's your hand, by the way? Ha. Huh. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. I knew you wouldn't do well with that. Yeah, Lynn, you can see her stiffen at that as she responds, um, it's fine. Crystal. How long have you been infected? <sighs> she does take a deep breath. And just, um, <laughs> just like rub, uh, like her eyes and just, <sighs> it is a bit of a problem with you detective types is you're very good at pulling secrets out of people they don't particularly want to bring up. <laughs> Again, half charm, half curse. Since... I noticed it the day after I met you. Mm hmm Okay. So, semi-recent. All right. I'm taking precautions. I'm glad to hear you're a sensible person. Has, does anyone else know at this time? Um, this is where, uh, um, yeah, okay, I'm gonna go with assuming that, uh, that has happened, that that will happen, mm -hmm, considering mm -hmm. where the text FPS left off. Um, mm -hmm. uh, she's going to, yeah, like, sort of, like, look. Uh, look down and you knows. Okay. Well, an expert in this note. If you have any other trusted, I'll say adults, perhaps mention it to them. 
this is... I don't have the words to describe it, but you have people here for you, okay? Do you want to talk about it, or...? Uh, would Lynn like to roll an insight? Yeah. That is a 15 plus 8. <laughs> oh wow, okay. Um, yeah, um, oh, that's, uh, that's a complicated question. Um, and you can sort of see that sort of shifting, like, there's, ooh, there's a lot there, um, that she is not saying about the situation and a lot of the things that she's been feeling and stuff and not a lot of it is very good um like there is like frustration and tiredness and a bit of fear and uh but also like like a lot of stubbornness as well <laughs> um mm -hmm. And when when you say that you have people here for you, like, yes, she knows that, but also there is resistance there. Um, yeah. Um, and she's just gonna, like, uh, thank you for the offer, but I think I'm alright right now. Alright. I won't pry into this, but my door is always open, and, well, take it from one very stubborn sort of a picnic myself. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes reaching out can be a good thing. Sometimes it can also feel like a kick in the teeth, because of course you can handle it yourself, but every now and then. And after all, with these sorts of experiences, it's, what's that saying about research is, uh, more head sort of thing, peer review and such? Peer review your thoughts. Me? Yes, I, well, I suppose that's why I've been being open with a lot of what I've found about this case. And that's good. Yeah, she's just sort of like trails off. Like again, there's there's more there that she's not saying. And mm -hmm. Lynn, you get the feeling that she maybe doesn't even want to admit this to herself. Mm-hmm. From where you're both probably sitting at this point, just Lynn does just rest her cane in front of her for a moment, and then just reach out and just. Hovers her hand over yours for a moment to see whether it's a whether you're okay with touch or not. Which hand? Uh, probably her left hand extending, so right hand. Yeah, okay. If it's the right hand, I think she will mm -hmm. let that happen. Mm hmm. And. She does stop a moment as she's thinking. She just goes. These are scary times. Unnerving ones with everything. After, with research and science and medicine, the unknown unknowns and the known unknowns, they can be sure something. If I can promise you, any words that you say here will not leave this room. I just want everyone to be all right. A good mindset. They. People that know you want you to be alright. And 
your feelings on this. They're good and they're admirable. Wanting everyone to be alright. I mean, you already take on so much. It's... You want to keep others safe. You want to help them. That's why you're becoming a doctor, right? Becoming? I, I've i been doing this... I, 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 poor, poor wording on that one. I meant... Slip of the tongue. I'm thinking in multiple languages at the moment. You are a doctor, Dr. Everlight. Becoming further into this, so reaching out to other people. The specific side of the field that you're in. Yes, and to be fair, I'm I'm not a doctor, doctor. I'm a, I'm a researcher, but it's feeling like having actual doctor skills is also just as relevant. Aye. That it is in this day and age will cross over of things. It's part of why I, as a detective, have also taken on that side of things further. Because we don't want to see people fall. Just feels like nothing is ever enough. There's always something else. And even the things that are in front of us, sometimes we don't know how to solve. And we don't even know where to start on solving them, eh? <sighs> Quite. I can't promise a solution. I can't promise something happening today or tomorrow or a breakthrough in the imminent future, but I will say this. This will end. There is a light at the end of the tunnel with this. This plot that is going through with this overblot, it will be solved within our lifetimes. Of that, I am very positive. And you're going to be okay. And others who get affected by this are going to be okay. You can't know that. Yes, the plot will end, but there's no guarantee that everyone will make it through it. Which is why we work together. It's why we get the information out, why we research, why we understand the signs and locate the sources. It's... You're right, we can't guarantee it to an absolute degree. However, I've been around Ankwell long enough to get a feel for things. And some will be more dire than others. Some will be... <sighs> harsh. There might be lingering a fix, but take it from an old hat who's seen a great, great, long centuries and plus long situation. There will be a good end, and these people will come out all right. Can if I you don't roll... believe it yourself, look. Can I roll inside mm -hmm. on that? Yep. You can indeed. Uh, it's not bad. Anyway, keep you can keep going. And the last thing she said was just, even if you don't believe it, look in my eyes. I'm not a naive fool. I'm not ignorant. I'm not lying to you here. Oop, that's only a 16, sorry. I, I did like the math in my head at the same time I was typing. <laughs> it's a 14 Bless. plus 2, so it was a 16. Amusingly, her DC for even her most basic deceptions is 19. But one thing you do get, beyond all else, because she is not lying to you, is that absolute faith she has. She is not lying or dressing things up. She fully believes that this will come to a good end. And it will be hard. 
but you can see that complete faith she has. And that is of an old seasoned detective. And yeah, uh, a few things in that entire thing did uh, did pop up, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, the one that I was got stuck on was the centuries. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't... Uh, that that's sus. That's very sus. Yeah. Yeah. Lynn's gaze did again get slightly distant for a moment as she'd been looking off, probably into the fireplace for a moment as she'd said that. None of it rings as false from this 23-year-old monkey. None of it rings false. I smile at you so sweetly. Ah, uh, I shake you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I think, yeah, she just pulls back after that and... Alright. Well... There's no way forward but forward. <sighs> And the plot ever steps on and ever grows. Still, I would probably feel better uh, if I did check that there were no lingering effects from inhaling the goop. <laughs> Thank you for changing it on that one. <laughs> But I, yes, of course, um, let's see, uh, I already at the time cleared my airways as best as possible, purging didn't swallow, I mean, sure, I didn't swallow a rinse at the time. Uh, as I think I said earlier, when I got back to network, I was planning on, um, you know, draining the lungs if need be. Uh, I have a pigtail upstairs, you know, uh, for draining and such, and I, I know it takes like 15 minutes, uh, when I did a scan, I got one of my, uh, allies, my butler, wonderful man. Uh, he came to help, but, uh, didn't seem to be anything, you know, left in the lungs. But by all means, uh, I don't know how you're going to go about it, you know, uh, stethoscope and such. The stethoscope and, you're be, 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 the medical professional here. Yes. And the monkey. Um, usually, um, well... Actually, yes, the stethoscope would would work um, for the physical sides of things. Um, I also a little bit worried about the magical lingering lingering effects. Um, I uh, I tend to use either detect magic or identify for that sort of thing. Okay. Uh, prob not entirely sure what results you're going to get from me on that one. Uh, either one of those, but by all means. Uh, let's see, other thing... <laughs> she goes to open her mouth to say, can't be worse than what I've already had to deal with, and then shuts her mouth because, no, that's just inviting... <laughs> that's yeah. just inviting you... trouble, Lynn. <laughs> there is a sharp look from Lynn the moment she sees your mouth opening. Just, you can tell she's in the mindset of, don't jinx it. Don't do it. Yeah. Don't do it. No, you can see the on Crystal's face the yeah, no, I'm not saying that. <laughs> uh, but by all means, uh, other than that, let's see, there was a didn't have a pleasant period after it. Uh lucid dreaming, that was nice. Uh, that pick and kick the bucket, unfortunately, but that was good for a while it lasted. Uh let's see, um every now and then odd phantom sense sensations, but again, Pretty sure that's part and parcel of my pick and left now. Uh, again, cast away as you see fit, ask questions as you see fit, I'll do my best to answer. Uh, I'm at your service. Right. Um, well, I did put it away, but uh, <laughs> she's like, right, need to need to get the med kit out again. Um, would, would, would you like to use my medical kit? Or yours is the one that you're most aware with, so by all means. But I do actually have one here, just in case of emergencies. Uh, I think she was like, um, 
like you say that and she's already like half pulled it out of her her bag again and uh, <laughs> um yeah so you know what she gestured of like where she keeps it network at it and then she just like sees you and then just rolls her wrist in the yep yeah, no it's already here let's go pull it keep, keep pulling it out <laughs> yeah but just the um ah right i'm not used to people having um their own on them i, I well i've done it's got a bit of training, uh, first aid and such. Well, a, a bit. Oh, good. <laughs> and she does actually laugh lightly, just a bit, as if this monkey does anything by halves. Yeah, well, uh, Crystal does at least look relieved at that and like, ah, that's good. I, um, I had to bully the rest of the, um, well, the, the detectives in well, detectives plus in Villestown to make sure that they all had up-to-date first aid training. Not that long, actually. How many did you have to chase across the rooftops? One. And I managed to get him with Levitate before he could actually get more than onto the roof. Was it Leo? Yes, it was Leo. It was little Leo, of course it was. It was my pick and nephew. <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, I think it was more to get a rise out of me than because he didn't want to do the training. Of course he is. He's a little shit. <laughs> I love him. I love my family with my heart and soul. I give them chili because they are full of love and excellent beans. They're absolute little shits. He's given Network so much glitter, I'm never going to get it out of the attic. That, oh, that does not surprise me. He tricked Minami into giving me more glitter. There is so much glitter. We have a cloak full of glitter. Um, yeah, best not tell Cassie about that. She will bring more glitter. Cassie's also on the list of shinies, so... Oh, God, that's going to be a time. My God. My God. All right. <laughs> and also, Crystal, what's your passive perception, by the way? Oh, it's not great. Oh, actually, no, it's it's gotten better because I gave her an increase in perception in one of her like more recent roles because she was doing terribly before. <laughs> I, I think it's it's a fifteen passive perception. Cool. Uh Crystal, you mentioned Cassie and Glitter. Do you remember that feeling of, you know, the house spending a bit of time away, just like that feeling of it away? No, no, it's you basically feel so watched right now. You feel as though there is like someone just no, you can't see anyone, but there is like the feeling of someone almost half draped over a shoulder for a moment as the wind blows. Just, yeah, no, Network will remember this. Ah, <laughs> uh, um, ah, uh, yeah, I think Crystal is, um, gonna be like, then I apologize in advance if that led, led to anything, if that leads to anything. Oh, it will. And there is a very happy humming in the air, and Lynn's hand is just... She's got her left hand over her face for a moment, just... Oh, it's absolutely going to go somewhere. It's absolutely going to go somewhere. <laughs> I'm ignoring you. I'm igno You can do whatever you want to my heart, I'm still ignoring you. <laughs> that does bring a bit of a smile to, to Crystal's face. Um, yeah, before hey. she gets more serious with the, like, pulling the stethoscope out. Mm-hmm. And Linda actually does stop for a moment and go, um, hmm, actually, just to realise with the stethoscope, ah, I wear, like, three layers on top of chinchilla fluff. Um, would you excuse me just a tick? <laughs> uh, yep, blink and, uh, uh, sure. Cool. I'll be back in just a tick. And she does just, like, get up for a moment and just, just, you can, it's the full-on cane walk as she just goes. The office that is just off the library, the doors 
sli it like slides open without her even having to like touch it or anything, and then she just walks into the other office for a moment. And I've I've not shown you what this building looks like, so here's. But just. So you are just left in the library for a minute, as Lynn's in her office, and then she does come out, and she's wearing. To call it a robe isn't quite right, but it is something that shows the middle of the chest only sort of thing. It's right. And because huh. she did actually have from me insight, actually. Oh, cool. Again. <laughs> eh. Twelve. Yeah. Where the twelve you can tell that as she's coming back out you can tell she looks behind her at a bundle that's, you know, inside. And you can see her jumper sorta of there. In fact you can only see her jumper. If she'd had three layers, it seems a bit odd that she's bundled them all together. But that's on that front. And you can see that she's like pulling the chest thing so that it's adjusted well, but that might just be, you know, body shyness, maybe? You've got no clue on that front. It's, this is a monkey. This is a monkey right now with a titty window. <laughs> with a big titty window, just, just, this, just the chest, the center of the chest. The shoulders are completely covered. The, she's still got her skirt on and everything. It's just middle fluffy chest that's floof. Like, you're kind of impressed just how much floof there is. Should I ask why you have that? Uh, honestly, I can't even remember which case this was. It was probably the case in Ghibli. That was a fun case. That was a strange case. There were rubber ducks. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you at some stage, as soon as I can get up the right case file. I think Morrow was there. Gods, I pick and miss Morrow. He's, he's a good detective. Anyway. Crystal looks so lost right now. <laughs> like, oh my god, where did I start it? It was years ago, and surpri well, I'm surprised this fits. Well, actually, I haven't grown that much. Well, I did grow two inches at one point, but that was way that was before this. This is an old outfit. I should get a new one. Anyway, sticky the stethoscopy, eh? Ah, uh, right. And yep, she will. Uh, and you know, she will give you know the instructions: breathe in, and breathe out, and breathe in. Yep. And breathe out. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> yeah. As you're doing so, roll me medicine, and I will give you a d4 onto this. In fact, a d6 and a d4, I think. I think I can do that. Let me check. Cool. I might need that. So d4 and d6, you said? Yep. I can give both of those. Yep. I can indeed give both of those. Huzzah! Ooh, That's nice. something I will remember for future. Nice. Okay. That, that'll, that'll do. Twenty-one. Alright. <laughs> so, first of all, you're th not thrown off by the sheer level of floof your hand has sunk into. Because, <laughs> yeah. dear God, your forearm is missing. <laughs> okay, that's probably why she rolled a five to begin with. <laughs> and then, mm -hmm. yeah, like, sort of, like, got everything else under control. <laughs> yeah. And then, as you're actually listening... 
the breathing sounds fine. Okay, the breathing sounds straight up, sounds perfectly fine. There doesn't seem to be any issues with the lungs, as far as you can tell. There is something slightly strange with the heartbeat. Oh god, her first thought is, oh please don't tell me she has double hearts. I cannot go through that again. No, no, it's not double hearts, but it is... As she's breathing in and out, and as you're hearing that heartbeat, there is a hum. A hum that is rising and falling. And with every heartbeat, you almost get an extra little tiny blip. Oh, is this what I think it is? Is that, I smile. Is that network? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's cute. And I will even say, with that 21, Crystal, as you're focusing, you've got the stethoscope in, but you can, as you're, as you're quite synced up, quite frankly, synced up with this, you can tell the air around you with each inhale and exhale you can feel that hum around you. It is in perfect sync with Lynn. Oh, that's, that's so soft. Oh, mm -hmm. I, I think, yeah, um, she'll pull back and you seem fine. Um, both of you seem fine on that front. And Lynn pauses just for a moment, just like a faint eyebrow quirk of just trying to puzzle it, and then she goes, ah. <laughs> My heart and hearth. She keeps me going. Must be nice. I. She is the best in every capacity. <laughs> There's this, this slight curl mm -hmm. on uh, of like Crystal's li lips and just the even with the glitter. Oh, I even with the picking glitter, the glitter, the shiny stealing, the people stealing. The many, 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 many incidents over the years. We've had some interesting times. And when she tries to help me in the kitchen, how many cookies did we burn in the early days? How many pies did I have to deal with in interesting circumstances? I've found a new way now. It's delightful having a son. Every time I'm cooking and Network gets a little too excited, I can just go, Rai needs a hug, and then boom, problem solved. That is both adorable, but also, what, people stealing? I gesture at you and your last incident here, and I gesture at Crystal, who probably almost was on the list, and I gesture at the time she ate a man. Ah. He had it coming. Well, Snake. Snake, I, I will say. I don't know what uh, Mac identifies as, but quite frankly... He had it coming. Yeah, not going there. I am no. going to stay within line of sight of you, if that's all right. I, I completely fine. Fantastic on all fronts. I've got pretty decent passive. And besides, she would spit you out eventually. She's very polite. She's very polite. Right, I am really rather not test that theory. Hey, <laughs> probably for the best. But she's do she's doing better, and hey, she's got more people to entertain at the moment, and she gets bribed frequently. <laughs> and there is just a that very innocent hum from Network that if you didn't know better, which literally everyone does, it's just like, butter wouldn't melt in her proverbial <laughs> mouth. No. 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 
god, that's great. Aye. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, Just the, uh, yeah, that does actually mm-hmm. get a bit of a chuckle out of, uh, um, out of Crystal and the, sounds like she keeps your hands full. Oh, I, I well, I've had, uh, what is it, 14 years now? 14 years we've been soulmates. Time's flown. That is... Very impressive. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> and Lynn does just like reach out and she's now got a hand on the fireplace itself and you can actually see this ever so slight glow of where Lynn's hand is. Almost like warmth spreading from it sort of thing. Ooh. Just got mm-hmm. I still don't entirely know how it started just bringing a being into being but i wouldn't have it any other way crystal's gonna raise an eyebrow at that and uh, you get you sort of see that little like very little twitch of her lips is uh, like as she goes would you like the scientific explanation i mean if you've got one because, by all means, we're, we're both learning. I mean, neither of us quite know the capacities of network. I mean, we know Kara. Wonderful, eldritch, genius, loci, absolutely peak and fantastic. And network very much wants to be like that one day, don't you? You're already getting towers. You've got a wizard tower. <laughs> You're wanting to be a big network. <laughs> but by all means, if you've got any ideas. Um, I mean, I can probably locate um oh where did i find it it was it was probably in that that library i i should be able to get the book that i learned um how genus loco came that can be created it was admittedly meh um there's not a lot of information on this um but it still covers some of the basics if you want it might might be good to track down i also know um an expert in genius loci uh faber dominum wonderful guy he's gonna be working at the vils town no not vils town vils town was an affiliate uh university cities university it's, it's, ah. I'm, I'm not sure whether that's public knowledge yet but wonderful guy on that front even if he did steal you at one stage, didn't he, sweetheart? We'd neither of us... Well, you had a wonderful time. You had a wonderful time with Kara and Evershift and the ECCR. You had, you had a lovely time. I didn't. You had a wonderful time. There is too much to unpack in that. So, who's Kara, by the way? Oh, Halloween Town. You probably met her on the way, <laughs> seeing this, you know, four hours. <laughs> yeah, okay, that was a whiz save. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yeah, there's a moment of blink, blink, and then just, oh, um, God. Okay, yeah, okay, I guess I'm going to use those words. Um, just the, that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and Lynn looks at you in the this is one of the best little moments of her life and then network hums something and she's like don't use that word <laughs> to the building yeah like she, she's like she normally is like Crystal doesn't swear unless like she's she's in that category of can swear but doesn't <laughs> yeah yeah. But can then will do so and so needed. Yeah, so uh, but Kara also made her walk around in circles for four hours. <laughs> God's picking bliss. Yeah, yeah, she does that. She picks a target a day. Normally it's my partner. <laughs> <laughs> 
Normally it's Gregory. I I uh, usually just let it happen. I just take a direction and go, okay, and we see where I end up. But it's great. Yeah. I apologize that you have been four houred, but uh, she'll do it again. Well, at least I know it can happen now. I mm, probably doesn't help, but no, no, not particularly. Sometimes, if you're very urgent, you can stop and say please, and that might get you. We'll see. I'll, I'll walk, I'll walk you out. I'll walk you to the teleportation circle when we're done. But, uh, I yeah. Uh, but Thank yeah, you. Tara and. Kara and Evershift and Essie and Network went on a little jaunt a while back. Uh, full on Genius Loci got yoinked. That was a time. None of us knew what was going on. Don't worry, I put the fear of me into Faber when I met him at a later date. And he's he's a nice guy. He's he's a nice guy, very chill. Wonderful on Genius Loci himself. Ash thing is a baby. Absolutely the best. Well, um, knowing that makes me wonder if you really d did deserve the fate of the fear of you. I have seen how terrifying you can be. <laughs> I was I was a bit more gentle after all. Network likes him. It spared him a little. That's good to know. <laughs> and she's grinning slightly. Just, and it does very much. There is just a slight flicker to her eyes and behind her teeth she looks a little very jack-o'-lantern monkey <laughs> just <laughs> <laughs> yes well I... you got the feeling you got enrichment yeah there's... yes well i'm glad that i am not on your bad side indeed it really goes well for people or on network's bad side i mean you've already seen that one time when you came here with rai and well Network got angry. You like your tornadoes. You throw things everywhere. I had to clean a lot of pick and shit up when I got back, but honestly, completely understandable. Yes, I... Mm, that that sure was an experience. To be fair, I... Mm, well, I felt kind of similar at the same time, so... You I, know. I, she doesn't like being separated from me. It... Doesn't go well for either of us. No, I imagine mm. not. Hey. But, well, hopefully, third time's a charm on that one. But other than that, hey, if you can get those books for me, that'd be pick and fantastic. I'm still doing more reading. Network's taking a few tips from Kara, which... You can imagine how that's going, but hey, we love we love mentorship roles and such. It's great. <laughs> yeah, there's a very sour expression on Crystal's face with the mention of like taking inspiration from yeah. Caro, because yeah, <laughs> her experience isn't great. Then, <laughs> Lynn does just chime in with just like, "Oh, you haven't seen the glass eye yet. Don't ask." Yeah. Uh, moving on. Uh, yep. <laughs> Kara, Kara has strange gifting preferences, and I have thoughts. <laughs> Noted. I mean, I suppose that makes but, sense for a place called Halloween Town, so... Hi! Very old, very powerful, very much full of the mischief and chaos and tricks. Uh, other than that, uh, is there anything else? Well, you've got identifying that sort of stuff. Uh, on me. Honestly, if you're going to cast Identify or anything on people in future, my advice is use Cat. Very nice regal thing. As far as I'm aware, likes blot stuff as a pick and snack. So. Sorry, I kind of missed half of that. Can you repeat? <laughs> I've, you know, half that I want to almost imagine is Lynn just rambles, and so people just miss things all the time. But yeah. Lynn did just go, by all means, cast identify on me and that sort of stuff. 
But if you're going to do that on anyone, I would advise use cat. It's regal, but it likes blot things as a snack. Is she talking about Dyer? Yes. Hmm. Yeah, um. I like my sight. I'm sorry, what? Oh! I. Yeah, I. Familiar like being. Well, I'm not sure that's a familiar. I'm not sure what that is. That is not a normal cat. I don't know what she is either, but the hair on her that was on. The hair from her that was on you was very bright in with detect magic. I oh also do not cast that in here for obvious reasons. Yes, I was probably going to go with identify. Good. It's quite frankly one person within this household blinding themselves by looking at things they shouldn't. Craigery at once blinded himself by looking at Scratch. That was a time. Please. Please, I've had yeah. enough wizard hubris in my home. I... Mm, no, I could definitely see why that would be blinding. I... Again, please, not in this home. <laughs> that is just asking for trouble. Asking, asking for so much trouble. But, uh... I'm not entirely sure how I identify all such works, but, uh, fire away. Um, well, it's, uh, not really much, uh, that you will need to do, uh, but it is a touched base spell, so, um, do you mind? You're just gonna, like, gesture, can I, <laughs> like, yeah, like, where, where? You've already stuck your hand through my fluff, fire away. <laughs> right, um, and, uh, I can't yeah. remember, I can't and she does actually stop for a moment and go, I can't remember what base the uh, youth call that, but eh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Like, I think, I think Crystal just, like, recoils at that, like, excuse me, what? Because, <laughs> like, she doesn't do relationships or anything like that. Like, any time there are people <laughs> flirting in the AI chat, she's just like, nope. <laughs> I used that line once on a villain who had the exact same reaction as you. It was great. I prob I've got a partner. I'm also not into that sort of thing at the same time. Oh, your face. I'm sorry. I... Mm, please never do that again. And she is gonna <laughs> put her head back um, probably on Lynn's shoulder. <laughs> Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. You have rattled her. <laughs> God bless. I'm sorry. <laughs> Out of curiosity, could we put identify in a uh, chat so I can see what yeah, it does again? Yeah, I'm just grabbing it up. I will say the casting time is one minute, so I'm sorry, Lynn, that this is probably yeah. just like, yeah, you know, going to take just a bit. Uh, mm hmm. It's, let's see. Uh, which shoulder did she go with, by the way? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna roll a d2. Left. Cool. No, actually, probably right, because she would be using her right hand at the moment. Sorry. Cool. If that Brilliant. makes it, <laughs> that will make a difference, probably, from the, the sounds of it. Yeah. Indeed. There was... <laughs> Your insight isn't the best but it's as you reach out like as you're going for the left shoulder lynn does it is such a casual gesture but it is just a shifting roll and then you you don't quite know how it happens but your hand is on her right shoulder instead and yeah that makes complete sense mm. with the hand you're using yeah yeah that makes sense all right there's the spell you learn its properties and how to use them. Da da da, how many charges it? Uh, learn what spells are affecting. Uh, <clears throat> Alright, let's see. And oh, let's see. Uh, what they are. 
properties and such are okay. Ah, you learn what spells, if any, are currently affecting it. Cool. On that front... First things oh first... Have you felt anything blot-related? Ah... Uh... Like, in the past? Mm. I mean... No, uh, sort of. It's it's weird in that she's seen it with detect magic, but she can't cast identify on it because it eats the spell. Okay. Well, one thing you get is your spell is uneaten. <laughs> cool. Your spell is fine. There doesn't seem to be any of that that specific kind of goop or cling of magic. It's stuff that's working on Lynn doesn't seem to be spells so much, but there is a warmth to it all. As well as... Roll me Arcana. Cool. All right. Heh. <laughs> I love the <laughs> you get, 28. You get to see fantastic. Crystal's best modifier. <laughs> I love that modifier. I was hoping that was going to be brilliant. With that, you do get this ebb and flow of warmth that doesn't have a name. It just feels warm through Lynn. You do... With a 28, you do also get a flicker of something else. And... You can't pin it down. You can't figure it out, not fully, but it does seem to just linger. Almost like an aftertaste in the back of the mouth sort of thing, rather than a full thing you can name, but... It feels ever so slightly necrotic. Hmm. See. Oh, and another thing you do actually get with spells and such. Ah! Uh, you do also get pumpkin spice. You get a lot of pumpkin spice, in fact. <laughs> And, in fact, actually, with 28, one final, final thing is with the spell you're casting, you are pushing your magic through, Lynn. You can almost feel it ripple through. Like, as though it's passing fully through the ink and bouncing back. So you are getting three sort of pings and then your own stuff. Ha. Huh. That's... Interesting. She's, uh, she's not really come across that before. Um, yeah, yeah, no, that's, that's, uh, interesting. Um, so I do think, um, I think she'll pull back a little, um, just, you know, um, and, and like Lynn's welcome to roll insight if she'd like. Um, no, and, I bet she would. Yeah, and she just says, "Well, there doesn't seem to be any lingering effects." Oh, that's good. Eighteen. Yeah, she's um she's got a bit of like a far away look, like ha. Huh. That's like there's there's no kind of uh you know like what she found wasn't anything that she seems to be concerned about or anything like that, but it was weird, and she's kind of just like, ha, huh. yeah, that's that's yeah, weird, and like she's just trying to like figure it out you can sort of almost see the gears turning in her head of the like what to, what to make of that um 
yeah. Um, uh, the other thing I will give you is, um, and this is, just, let's say, uh, a insight one, but I think I'll give it to you anyway, uh, was, um, I mean, yeah, she's wearing gloves, but, um, uh, you would have also noticed it a little bit before, before but, um, her, her hands are a little bit cold at the moment. Hmm. Lynn seen that before? She doesn't she doesn't know what to say to this. She's got an idea of what is under that glove because she has seen you know. She's seen you. Yeah. And she's she knows blood stuff and she doesn't wanna get one of the things she specifically doesn't want to do is put Crystal in a state because that's just asking for trouble literally with the blot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, honestly. Probably, oh god, like, that's a... Out of character? Like, I can completely understand that reaction, but, um... Mm -hmm. yeah, that's kind of, honestly, probably, like, the bad thing is that people aren't pushing Crystal on this topic. <laughs> um... Mm -hmm. It's... Lynn wants to push, and she will push at a later point, but it's very much a now is probably not the best time, however, at a later date, if she, you know, invites Crystal round or goes out of her way to... Well, actually, she can't really go out of her way, given her another plot she's in. But just, she is going to make sure that enough people have the circuit of, hey, nudge the stained glass one. Nudge her. Yeah. Nudge. <laughs> if, if nudge. <laughs> Yeah, if she uh, if she stops responding to people, maybe go check up on her. Oh, that that is already an imperative on Lynn's end. She's going to be having a few of her informants just, you know, scattered a bit, just as they, hey, this one doesn't leave her room for a bit, or if we know that she's not contacting people, we're going to deal with this. I'm sure it's fine. Congratulations, Crystal. You're being put under. You're being put under subtle watch. You will not see them coming. <laughs> you are on the watch list, Crystal. <laughs> yep. You are on one of the several on the blot watch list that Lynn has. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm glad that Lynn has a blot watch list because probably necessary yeah. at this point. Indeed. But. Lynn does just look at you and just go, so, uh, clean villa health? Uh, yes, sorry. Um, yeah, you seem, well, um, as normal as I can tell. Oh, that's good. I quite like being, you know, unblotted or... Are there such things on that front? That's quite pleasant, honestly. Yes, well, I am um, very glad on that front. Um, he is hoping it stays that way. Then again, it does seem pretty finicky um, from what you said, so... I... Well, as far as I'm aware, I'm, well... As emotionally stable as it gets, given I just dealt with a war and other stuff. I mean, I just went... I, I went abroad recently, that's how I know Jubilee and such. That was interesting. Whole other civilization. That was pick and fantastic. Pick and tired when I came home. And then, I mean, another war plot, you know, the War to End All Wars, because, hey, we love those! Oh, why do we love war plots in this day and age? But I, um, I'm glad that the blot plot hasn't grabbed me by the horns yet, or tail. I haven't got horns. I do have prop devil horns, though. Those those are fetching on me. No one likes it when I put on the angel the angel um, the halo. Apparently, it doesn't suit me. Shame, crazy shame. Did Crystal have just been like, ah, uh, mm, what? <laughs> like what? <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> Are you 
sure you're all right like expression that do i want to ask no i don't want to ask like and then you just like like and, and lynn just keeps going and, and and she's just like and now we're talking about what like c- costumes yeah um like, yeah Lynn, Lynn does stop for a moment where she'd gone off, like, you know when you look off to one side as you're giving a talk? Looks back at her for a moment and goes, Trust me, I've been through a lot. Weirder, stranger, there was a whole thing with a cheese and a jello, that was interesting. Uh, what else have there been? Uh, free to God, that was interesting. Uh, getting tortured almost to death, that was not fun, but eh, that's another part and parcel of everything. And that was before, before and before. But eh, uh, let's see, what else have we got? Eh, I do have several costumes, including an absolutely baller outfit. I want to wit- well, actually, the two times I've worn that with Craigery, he's ended up in crisis, we did burn his, but at some stage I'm going to take him out to a nice party. You live a very interesting life. Thank you. And the expression on her face is very much a... I know, and sometimes I want off this ride, but by God, at least it's a fun life. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I think Crystal is like, I, I don't, I don't think I'm equipped for the protagonist role. No one ever is. We'll, we'll try and get you into a nice... Once this is all over, maybe we can get you into, like, the Fulardi treatment. Fulardi's nice. He's just a side character. He just wants to be a side character. He's right now having a wonderful time of it, so I'm told. So I believe I keep a few tabs. But anyway, we will try desperately to get you a nice time where the only thing of interest is today I saw a bird, or today I had a nice cup of tea, instead of today... I dealt with this shit. Ah, uh, well... May we, may we stop living in interesting times. May we please, please stop living in interesting times. Yes, I... I don't know how likely that is to be, considering uh, some of the people I know now and the perchance for trouble. Ah... Uh, and that's not even going into the fact that apparently plot has been more interested in me than I realized for longer than I realized. Hey, I am sorry to hear that. It's surprising what the backstory will dredge up. <laughs> Quite. You're welcome to roll another insight on that. Actually, you rolled an 18 before, didn't you? I can use that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. She maybe learnt some new stuff about her own backstory recently. Mm hmm. Do you want to sit here and bitch about it over some tea? That. That sounds really nice, actually. I thought so. It's a, it's a good little pastime, just, um, just from time to time. And. Trust me, I've been there. <laughs> and so Lynn does just, she does just give you such the knowing I have seen shit. You heard what she said a few minutes ago. And there is, there is an unseen servant walking in as you speak. You don't know when she activated it, but it's already got a, another tray oh, of God. tea. Oh, uh... <laughs> Yeah, I think she just, like, um, I don't know, um, do you want to keep going with this, or is this, like, a good place to, like, fade out? Um... Honestly, I think this is a good place to fade out, if you'd like. At some stage, you and I could do a written FPS on this front. Yeah, sure, all right, all right, in that case, um... What I will do is I'll give, like, the first line that Crystal says, and then we can sort of, like, fade out from there. (laughs) Yes. So it's just like, um, so apparently I found out that when I was eight, I woke up a long, a a long asleep deity who decided to grant a wish for me. What the heck? I think that is a perfect place. 
place to zoom out. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Just the mental image of zoom out and we see through one of the windows with the frosty glass sort of thing. And then that line and then that other line. Just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's incredible. I love that so much. It's, yeah, that that's perfect. <laughs> that is. That truly is. Oh, this has been wonderful. Oh, this was so much fun. I'm so glad we did this. It's been too long since they've interacted. Hi. <laughs> and they're both fabulous on that front. <laughs> oh. oh, this has been delightful. <laughs> Thank you for doing this with me. This was brilliant. I'm glad we got the word out that Lynn did, in fact, not eat it. Yeah, yeah, you're going to have to... <laughs> We're going to have to figure that out for the chat after this. Uh, I also want I will to thank... Send, I will send you what you will put on that front. <laughs> cool. Uh, I also want to thank Will for enabling this, because this never would have happened uh, uh, without you dropping the bombshell of, hey, yeah, Lynn ate it. <laughs> It's brilliant. It's fantastic. Well, we love you. <laughs> um, so yeah. All right. Thank you, listening audience. But Goodbye, to our Now and pressed. Pre uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> now and in the future. I hope you had fun. Bye bye. Bye.